Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one-year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% and exclusively free for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime, on top of that, get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it, again, free for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up for this event, DM TBradley90 in MIC Slack chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, we have a very special video for you guys this week as Austin, who goes by Aloha Trader and one of our main moderators in chat, put together a trade recap on the Capper short squeeze trade, and this is CAPR ticker symbol. And while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. Hey everybody, Austin here. Uh, back for another trade recap. Um, this time it's gonna be on CAPR. Uh, but before I do, I wanna say I'm not licensed, I'm not registered, I'm not a financial advisor, and none of this should be taken as investment advice, even if it sounds like it. Okay, so yeah, CAPR. The only stock that was really moving today, um, and I was, I was able to get, or in the small cap world anyway, and I was able to get a good piece of it near the end of the day. And I kinda wanna go over uh, the tr my, 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 I guess my thought process on the whole trade. So let's start from the beginning. Um, pre-market um, this thing was gapping up and the thing so I had a very 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 rare circumstances for me um, I, I basically woke up at nine o'clock market time and I never ever ever do that into the market I was looking for a long and the funny thing is is right here right here on this candle um, on this candle I was typing in chat saying Hey, um, I don't really see a lot of edge over here, but I'm going to be looking for a long, you know, you know, and I'm thinking about over 725 for the long. And as I'm typing this, like it rockets up, right? So I missed this. And this is where I start to, I, I start to feel some major FOMO now. And I'm really like, I'm contemplating buying up here and I know I shouldn't. So at this point, I, I kind of just like walk away, but and like, you know, I'm really, um, really tired like I'm only on like three hours of sleep so I'm so basically what I do is I go I go lay down in bed a little bit and watch this from afar because I don't want to do anything stupid <laughs> it's so amazing but like I was able to get a borrow on the stock like I, I was kind of feeling hopeless all day but right over here I start to think like you know we're stuffing right here and we're still holding so I'm really I'm almost really interested in potentially longing it for one more squeeze right like this is about the time I'm gonna say generally, we the market likes to show some kind of 2 p.m., 2.30 relief cracks, right? And this was like right at two, and I'm like, okay, look at that, there's a big crack, but we're holding. So I'm starting to get a little, um, I don't know, suspicious of the, of the short, right? I keep thinking that these slam downs should be leading to a fail, right? Um, and the fact that we're holding now this new level, 7.60, you know, it, se it seemed to be the, the, the morning of the, the low of the afternoon. I feel like this is the most important level. So the fact that we're slamming but holding, I'm really liking that for a potential long. So I start really zoning in and, you know, looking for opportunities where this might erupt because um, I think if we can break 8, 875, like we could potentially go to 10, right? This is trade. This is a low float. It's 2 million shares. It's traded like 30 million shares up until the time. It's a, you know, there's a lot of demand for it. So if we can get back over, I'm sure a lot of these people that are short are can fuel it to a move to 10. I, I hate drawing these because there's a million different ways that you can draw a trend line, right? But that's why like um, I use them as a guideline, right? It's not, it's not something that's going to, um, oh, like, to the you know to the T I, I count the trend just I want a basic idea of when the trend fails right hey traders this is Tosh I go by T Bradley 90 in the my investing club chat just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC joining MIC maybe you're a member already you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC you can hit our social media you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com.
I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.